Hey guys, welcome to Origination Overload. Today, I'm gonna to give you some tips and tricks involving snares. So I've got this beat and bass line I'm busy working on and I need to get the perfect snare for it. So if you want to find out what the key of your snare is, all you need to do is create a grain synth and then drag and drop it onto the synth. And over here, you'll see that that snare was analyzed as an A. My song is actually in the key of G, so I'm looking for a C or an E or a B. Be sure to check the equalization of your snares because sometimes they've got a lot of low frequencies in them and it can actually conflict with your kick drum. See over here, there's some rum. See over here, there's some frequencies going. So let's create a send effects for the snare drum. You right click, say create send effects. I'm gonna add some reverb. but you can hear it's actually playing over itself. What also helps is to automate the dry and wet of the send effects reverb. What also helps is to automate the send effects reverbs dry and wet. So what I'm gonna do is right click the dry and wet, say edit automation, press record, and then slide it down a bit. Okay, now that I got that, I'm gonna make it a curve, go down. But the snare needs more oomph and power to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer some white noise with it. If you don't have any white or pink noise samples, generally claps have got some noise in them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some shuffle to this. It's just gonna push the sample forward a little bit. What helps to keep things interesting is to add some variations to your snares. So I'm gonna duplicate that clap sound and change its pitch and either pan it left or right and change the effects on it. What helps to keep things interesting is to add variations. So at the end of every second bar, I've got a variation. And in the end of every fourth bar, I've got a variation of the hi-hats. I'm gonna do a little snare roll at the end to keep it interesting. What you do is you press W or you select the pencil tool. Then what you do is hold on control. You can just draw that in. What I'm also gonna do is animate the panning. What can also make your snare sound big is if you actually add a slice of a little snare in between it and you reverse it. What I also recommend to give your snares a more human feel is to layer another snare and to push it forward or backwards in time a bit, thus giving it some shuffle. So I'll take the snap off and these first three ones, I'm gonna move them slightly forward. And this last one, I'll move it slightly backwards. What you can also do if you're playing with the samples is you can click on pitch edit make sure it's selected, and then play with the format. It's kind of like pitching it up or down. Well, 
What can also keep it interesting is to actually add some effects to your song and to make uh, your effects stop when your snare starts, for example. can also make your song interesting is if you actually automate your bass drum slightly by pitching it up when your snare drum hits. So for example, right click, press record, let's pitch it up slightly. So this is what it sounded like in the beginning. You also want to make sure your snare isn't too loud, so what I recommend is when you're playing it, actually playing with the dim minus 20 and listening to it very softly. Cool, yeah, I hope that helped. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Cheers. Origination. Overload.